So in this episode, I'm going to show you how we're going to do scoring and using the, the scoring system. So for that, I'm going to create a new game, one that's a bit easier to show you, and that's the shark game. Okay, so first of all, let's change the stage. Underwater, we don't need that other background now. I'm going to change this part. Now, under the stage setting, we go to variables, and we're going to make a variable. We'll just call that score. Okay, that's important. You need to do that, and you'll notice once you selected that, you get a few more options on there. Okay, so we're going to call it score. Like before, we just when the green flag is clicked. And we're going to set the score to zero. So every time the game is started, the score is reset to zero. And that's all you need to do for the stage. I'll just go ahead and do the script for the shark now. I'll speed this process up. That's the script for the shark now. Make sure that works. Should be able to do it without pressing the green button. There you go. Oh. Change x by minus two. That would help. I thought I did that correctly. that script working fine there and now we're going to create a new sprite and that's going to be the fish I'll select this little boy here he's a little bit too big there so I'm going to reduce him down that's a nice size I think I'll reduce the shark a little bit as well So, I'll do the script for the sprite now as well. Again, I'll speed this process up. Okay, and that is the fish script done. Almost. Got to press this little button here. So he's always facing left to right. Now, what I'll show you here, break down the script exactly what make sure it works okay I've forgotten one little thing Yeah, 
works fine now. Okay, so the script for the fish. When the green flag is clicked, and we're going to put in a forever loop, first of all, we're going to show the fish. We're going to wait 0 0.1 seconds, and then it's going to move. Now, I've got it to randomize, so it will either move a number between 1 and 50 steps. That's why he's inconsistent. He, he sometimes goes quick, sometimes he doesn't. And if he goes to the edge of the screen, he'll bounce. And if he bounces, he will turn 15 degrees. And he'll go to a different direction. That just randomizes it. And here, I've uh, said, stated that he's going to, once he touches the shark, okay, he will hide. The score will change by plus one. You wait three seconds and then he will reappear at a random point on the screen and I've, the x coordinate will be between minus 220 and plus 220 and the y coordinate between 170 and 170 so it'll be a completely random he will appear somewhere random on the screen so you will notice that every time the fish is touching the shark you get a point see the point going up there and of course you can make it harder by making the fish move well quicker which sometimes makes it easier or you can make the shark smaller not really in proportion to real life but there you go see it's not it's actually not that straightforward Especially when there's some delay on the keyboard, you hold it down. Yeah, and there you go. And there you see the scoring system and how that works. It has to be done via variables. There, you make the variable, and then you can increase score. And uh, that is how you increase the score through that way. It's quite straightforward. But um, that's I wanted to show you an example of how the scoring system works. So I hope this helps.